What is going on guys, today we are looking at Hugo Lloris, the 40k Spurs keeper. He is obviously French, so he has so many good links. We managed to pack him, um, literally, we seem to get every single good goalkeeper there is. Um, we have got another one with Allison coming as well. We already did Edison, and it seems to be that I'm just getting BPL keepers really here. No Testegan, no Oblak. I think we had Chesney at some point, and we did get Donnarumma. And I think we got untradeable Handanovic as well. It seems to be, as always, keepers are the easiest to pack. And this year, I don't know if they do more. It feels like they are a little bit better, but it seems like there's a rating gap. So, like, when you get above 86, 87, they're very similar. But, like, if you actually go down now to the 81s to 84s, they actually do seem a little bit worse. It, it's kind of self-explanatory, but last year it seemed like keepers really didn't matter whatsoever. It seemed that whatever keeper you had, they didn't really do much. They just kind of did the exact same, and really, near post always worked. Whereas this year, I don't feel like that's the meta as of yet, so we could find that potentially, but who knows. Lloris is obviously a great choice if you want to link Varane with, obviously, the Prem. If you want to link, I'm trying to think, Kempembe, you've got Longley, you've got Umti. Umti. I'm trying to think if there's any other. Lucas Hernandez, I suppose, is another great French centre back, especially to start with. And 40k for a keeper really isn't that much, and especially an 87 rated. I will obviously at the end res uh, end review check out the comparison between him, Allison, and Edison, the obviously the other two top rated keepers in the Prem. Um, personally, looking at his stats, like I say with goalkeepers, I don't really do a massive long review because it's just a little insight into thinking. What did he do well? What didn't he do well? For me, Lloris has a great speed on him. I think it's the same as Edison, if I am correct. And Allison's the one with less speed, which for me is... It's it's the most important for me, personally. And that is just... It stemmed from like FIFA 18, where it seemed that the more speed they had, not necessarily how better they were, but I liked it as the high-rated. When I got Team of the Year De Gea in FIFA 19, he was incredible. No matter what keeper I had... He had incredible speed. Nobody absolutely touched him. Whereas I think this year they've really tried to kind of make that speed count. Obviously the rest of his stats, 89 diving, 90 reflex, 82 handling, 68 kicking and 84 position and a nice. Um, with the basics, it goes up to 94, 87, 73. 90 reflex is still an 89 positioning. So that's diving, handling and kicking. So obviously he does get a plus two on his speed as well, which makes it up to 66. So even better, to be honest. And I think most keepers only went up to 70, 75 as their like top, top max. And that was team of the year, team of the season keepers. So to know that he's already got that and the fact that you can actually get it up if you really wanted, you can get it up to 71 with shield. I think that is the only chem style that gets it up. So shield is the one that will get speed up, but then obviously everything else takes the hit. Whereas I quite like the basic as long as they've got a good base of speed, which I think Lloris does. But anyway, let's have a look at some gameplay and see what I think of him. So going into the first clip of this then, basically Lloris is great at coming out on corners. And to be honest, most keepers can do it as long as you kind of press it right. You don't really over oversell him too much. But I found that his kind of rush out is actually really nice. Don't look at that one. Um, that one's just, a, I think it's a, literally a mechanic issue. But we see so many shots, and I've really learned this year, and obviously the end of last year, to be move my keeper correctly. Granted, sometimes I get it wrong. Some players are really tricky, but you'll see me half the time really moving that keeper and making some absolutely wonderful saves um, just from guessing the right way, basically. But we see a lot of reflex saves from him. He's very agile, very quick, and he does get into position very nicely. There is some chances that I'm thinking probably should have saved it. When it's near in the box, something like that, I'm not really expecting him to dive too much. But when it comes to some shots that you see, we see a real close one there. We managed to get the block on there. And then he goes for another one. Cracking save through the defenders. Lovely, lovely save on the corner right there. And that's what he is, to be honest. He's very much like De Gea in his prime in terms of FIFA. Very quick and agile to get the ball, basically. Makes them top saves. Doesn't necessarily hold it a lot, but I'm guessing that's, to be honest, a lot of the time you'll see a lot of fumbles, which isn't great. So going into his overall review, as you can see right here, 40k, 39, 40 from middle, left, right. Nice keeper. Nice, nice keeper. Again, you can see the basic. Basic's nice. Shield would be my other. You have got Cat, which personally, if you're not going to go with the basic or the shield, I 
probably wouldn't go for anything else just because I like that overall view. So that just adds a nice little round number to all of them rather than kind of specifying which one it wants to go to. During Team of the Seasons, that's pretty much all you're going to be using because everything else is practically 80s to 90s and then the basic will always do that. But let's go into some of his links then. So obviously M. Dembele and Sissoko, perfect links in um, Spurs, but you're not going to be able to do them. You've got Desai Blanc looks an absolute phenomenal centre-back this year. Um, I don't know if there's any other icon French centre-backs. I think that's about it. Other than that, Laporte obviously is a, a strong link. Um, any Spurs players, again, in defence. Um, I wish, I really wish it kind of like capped it at positions that actually linked with him. But other leagues, so weak links, we have got... In fact, it's going to take ages to go through all these because it's going to have every single one. But Varane would be my main one. He would be incredible to have with Lloris there. So I think he's about 200k. Looking at then, comparing... Oh, God, that was bright. Looking at Allison, if I could spell Allison right. And then we look at Edison as well. Let's have a little compare between them. So obviously, we've got 40k, 96 and 50. So... These two are probably the most match. I feel like I've heard. I've not used them yet. Allison is probably the best keeper on the game. I want to see what that's like. The speed for me definitely needs that increase. But we can actually increase it in this game, which is very interesting to see how, how, how well he'll do. In terms of in-games, pretty close, obviously. We've got a nice one here, so we've got, and that's mainly for the kicking, I think, because obviously this one's got more speed, 64 there, 85, 93. You can see it, but he's got the positioning, the reflex. It's very nice. I feel like Lloris is the bottom of the three. Obviously, rating-wise, that is correct, but I feel like in general, he's probably the bottom, really. He is the third keeper. De Gea, obviously, underneath him being 86. There's some nice position that just shows all them. I really wish it would show all the goalkeeper stats, or does it do it at the bottom? No, it doesn't. So, we do know that the speed element, from what I like, is there. Allison, I'm interested to see. He'll be the next one review, and I'll make my overall decision. Is he the best Premier League goalkeeper in the Prem? Well, I assume so. Or will it go to Edison? Because I've been using Edison for quite some time now. I'm very, very much a favor, a fan favorite of Edison in terms of FIFA. So be very interested to see. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And see you all for the next one.